Yo, what is up guys? It's Flow Vibes here, back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about why Spider-Man is most likely going to be in the Marvel Avengers game. I have done videos of Marvel Avengers in the past, so make sure you guys check those out. But if you guys like videos like these, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. That would be very much appreciated. We have 50 subscribers, which is actually incredible. And if we can hit 100, that would be amazing. I also want to give a quick shout out to my boy Toxic. He recently started uploading Fortnite montages to YouTube, and he has some pretty nasty clips. He just reached 10 subs, so if we can get him to 15 subs, that would be absolutely amazing. His channel will be in the description below, so make sure you guys click that after the video and give him some love. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. So you guys are probably wondering, what do you mean that Spider-Man is coming to the Marvel Avengers game? Crystal Dynamics and Insomniac had both stated that they were both going to be in separate worlds and separate universes. And before you guys start cating on me in the comments below, let me explain that to you guys real quick. So I never said that Insomniac Spider-Man was going to be in the game, I just said Spider-Man. So you guys are probably confused right now, so let me explain that to you guys real quick. So Sony is the one that has a, the ownership of Spider-Man right now. They did a contract with Disney or Marvel and pretty much they have the authority to make Spider-Man movies and standalone Spider-Man games. But they don't have the control if other companies want to incorporate Spider-Man in their game as long as it's not a standalone game. For example, Lego Marvel Avengers has Spider-Man in the game. Spider-Man isn't the only hero though. You know, you have Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk, all these other Avengers and you have Spider-Man in there too. And that was okay. You know, Spider-Man wasn't just on the PS4. It was also on the Xbox and, Xbox, and I'm pretty sure PC. But correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. So pretty much where I'm going with this is that Spider-Man could technically be in the Marvel Avengers game if, if Crystal Dynamics wanted to make their own Spider-Man. And this is probably very likely due to the fact that Crystal Dynamics has been giving us little leaks and easter eggs throughout the War Table event and multiple trailers. For example, if you guys can see here, you see a news reporter and if you look closely at his mic, you see the Daily Bugle. And that pretty much is one of the news stations that is in the Spider-Man universe. And there are also many more little easter eggs and leaks that you guys can spot throughout the War Table. Now another thing I want to talk about is for the people that really want the Insomniac Spider-Man to come out. And I'm just going to tell you guys flat out, it's not going to happen again. As much as I want Insomniac and Crystal Dynamics to make a deal so that their Spider-Man can go onto the game, it's just not going to happen due to Sony's contract. And also, personally, I just don't think that Insomniac Spider-Man would go well with the Marvel Adventures game. Due to the fact that Insomniac Spider-Man was really good because of the fact that it was an open world game. And the Insomniac Spider-Man really went well with that open game factor. And since the Marvel Avengers game is not an open world game, I just, think, I just don't think it would also go well. Another reason is the fact that Insomniac Spider-Man, their combat is very different. A lot of it is holding a certain button and clicking a certain button. While in Marvel Avengers game, they have a lot of other buttons that you need to use. And I'm also very excited to see what Crystal Dynamics would do um, to implement Spider-Man in the game. Because like they said, they're going to have different feels of combat for each kind of superhero. And I really want to see how they're going to implement the Spider-Man in the game. Obviously, if they do implement it, we're still going to have web slinging, uh, sh like web shooting, you know, tying up enemies, maybe throwing them down too. And we're still going to get the combat feel of Spider-Man. It's just not going to be the same as Insomniacs. I also want to talk about the probability of Spider-Man coming to the game. I just want to state this first of all that I do not think that Spider-Man is going to be the first character added to the game nor the first couple of characters. It's most likely that Hawkeye is going to be the first character and probably Captain Marvel and Black Panther following that somewhere around there. But I just think I just don't think that Spider-Man would be the first necessary character because he's kind of a hard character to master. But I think it's a very high chance that in the next two years or maybe even earlier we could see Spider-Man in the game. And a lot of you guys ask why is that and let me explain it to you guys right now. So if you guys didn't know, Spider-Man is one of the most popular and beloved characters of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He has a funny personality. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any- Spider-Cop. Please, no. He has a good background story, cool suits, and a cool ability. And since Tom Holland took the role and Spider-Man getting its own game, it's only increased the amount of people that are like Spider-Man. Now. Let's say for example, let's say two, three years down the line, this game is still going and it has around, it used to have around 10 million active players. And now it dropped down to 7 million players. Now, Crystal Dynamics is probably going to want to do something to get his player base back up. And Spider-Man is honestly one of the best things that they could do. If they don't have Spider-Man already in the game, they could add him to the game 
and that would honestly cause millions of players to come back to the game and even buy the game just so they can go with Spider-Man, especially the Xbox and PC players because they don't have a Spider-Man game. All they have is a Lego Spider-Man in the Lego Marvel game and they have some cheap knockoffs of a Spider-Man game and they want to get their hands on a realistic, good looking and maybe even a good feeling Spider-Man. And also, the fact that Spider-Man has so many costumes could generate a lot of revenue for them. Insomniac has over 50 costumes for the Spider-Man game, and they don't even have, they didn't even hit all the Spider-Man costumes that there are in the comics and in the movies. So, and so Crystal Dynamics could take all those suits except the original one that Insomniac made and put the put it in their game and they could probably put some price tags on it or let the players grind for it either way they'll probably split it half and half something like that another thing too is that they are going to invent some of their own skins will generate extra revenue because spider-man not only has a lot of suits but he's a beloved character and that's going to bring a lot of popularity and fame back to the game if it got taken away from the first place also the fact that once this game comes out a lot of people are going to be asking for Spider-Man. They might be asking for some other heroes first, like Doctor Strange or Black Panther, but especially at the most one year down the line, there a lot of people are going to be asking for Spider-Man. And if not, they're probably they might start leaving, you know. So Crystal Dynamics is probably going to add their own Spider-Man, and I, I don't think anyone's complaining, you know. Obviously, we would, we would rather have the Insomniac Spider-Man, but any Spider-Man is better than no Spider-Man. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I have been thinking about doing a video, another updated video of the top 5 characters that I want to see. Just because my opinions has changed a bit. I also want to do a video on the PS5. Now that we've gotten a, a, a lot of more information. And with the leaks that maybe July 13th, we're going to be revealing the price. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about that too. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. So if you guys could subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button. That'd be absolutely amazing. Again, I have done other videos of Marvel Avengers in the past. Like talking about why I think it's the best game, my top five characters, um, all, uh, all those kind of, and my recent one, uh, talking about why this game has so much hype behind it, so make sure you guys check those out, but that's going to be it for this video, so hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day, wherever you guys live, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out.